everyone, it's Claire. Today I'm going to show you three sensory activities that you can try at home. For the first one, you need a washing up bowl full of water and you need some washing up liquid. And we're going to pour the washing up liquid into the water and then we're going to get a whisk. Whisk it up to make some bubbles. Now we could add some food colouring to our bubbles. So I've got some blue. Pour the blue in and then I'm going to whisk that up again. You can see that our water has gone blue. Now if I add some yellow to my blue, whisk it up again. You can see that my water has now turned green. Okay, for this next second activity, you will need a Ziploc food bag and two colours of paint. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to squeeze some red paint into the food bag, like that. And then I'm going to squeeze some yellow paint in. And then I'm going to zip the food bag up and put it down on a flat surface. Oh, too much air. And I'm going to mix the colours together. I'll turn it over. Mix the other side. And you've got to keep mixing until all the colour has mixed together. And then, is what I did earlier, you will see it makes an orange colour. So red and yellow makes orange. Okay, for my final sensory activity today, you will need some shaving foam. I'm going to use some more paint, this time I'm going to use some blue and red, and I've got a paintbrush. So first of all, give your shaving foam a shake, and then squeeze it into your tray. There we go, and then I'm going to squeeze some red paint into my tray as well. Use my paintbrush or you could use your hands to mix it all together. You can make lots of nice patterns in the shaving foam and mix it all up. Now, I'm going to add some blue and see what colour I might make. So squeeze some blue in. There we go. And mix it up again. Makes nice swirly patterns. You can see that it's starting to turn purple. So blue and red makes purple. There we go. Okay, I hope you have fun trying these activities at home. Bye for now.